Hello and welcome, my name is Tobel. Quick video for you on how to mod X4. Already some good mods are coming out and you can get these from, I prefer Nexus mods, I'm not sure if they're available, they're probably linked on the X4 forums, but we're gonna check out a couple mods and I'll show you step by step how to get these installed. So I'm on nexusmods.com right now and I'm signed into my account. I'm gonna look for a mod that I want and for me, I happen to be wanting player trade chip buy notifications. When you first open a mod, you'll see some information here about what to do. Generally, they all in include the instructions, but I'll show you those anyways. So I know what I want to do here, so I'm going to hit Files and Manual Download, and you'll see that the download pops up right here. All right, so I'm going to open up uh, the, just generally you can open up your file browser here, and I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, right-click on the file, which is normally zipped up, and I'm going to do Extract here. All right, so now we've got a folder. And if your mod has done everything correctly, it should just have a folder with its name. Okay, so what you want to do is right click on that folder and say cut. And then what we're going to do is find the EgoSoft folder under your My Documents area. So Documents, EgoSoft. I still have X Rebirth installed, bless its soul. Uh, I'm going to click on X4. And this is your user ID, so just click whatever number is here for you. All right, so now we're in the X4 user directory, or uh, the uh, local documents directory here. So if you're like me and you don't have any mods installed yet, you won't have an extensions folder. So we're gonna right click, hit new, folder, type extensions. All right, now it's in place. We're gonna go inside of that folder and then we're gonna right click and paste. And what this does is it moves the trade by notification folder or in your whatever your mod happens to be from your download area over to the extensions area. All right, that's basically it. Uh, your mod will now be inside of X4, and I'll show you real quick a good way to check on that. Uh, you can go ahead and open X4, and you'll be able to see it under the X4 extensions in the menu. All right, so right now you'll see that as soon as we're on the main menu, you see something new here. This says modified, so this is telling you that the game has mods on it. You can verify that by going to extensions and then you'll see your extensions or your mods right here in this list. So that's the basics, right? If you want to go ahead and start adding mods in, feel free to do so. Uh, if at any point you want to remove those mods, you should be able to just uh, pull up your uh, Documents folder, go back to Documents, EgoSoft, X4, User File, Extensions, and you can remove that modification by just deleting it if you wanted to. Okay, so that's uh, that's bit. It's real easy to go ahead and install mods from X4. Uh, once they bring Steam integration, it'll be a little bit easier for those of us who are on Steam. But for folks who are using GOG or buying uh, X4 from a different source, your go-to will probably be Nexus mods or something similar. All right, I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.